So you want to have breast implant augmentation or breast implant surgery. That's a really difficult decision to make. My name is Dalia Masood, I'm a plastic surgeon and hopefully I'll be taking you through the journey of deciding whether breast implant surgery is the right surgery for you, how to decide what size you need to be or want to be, the risks and complications and how it's going to affect your body both in the short term and long term. So let's go. Before embarking on breast implant surgery, you and your surgeon both need to check that the breasts are healthy, so there are no lumps in the breasts or in the axilla or armpit. If you've had a mammogram scan, you need to check that those, the scans are normal before you go down the route of breast implant augmentation. Then you need to decide what exactly is it about your breasts you want to change. There are some things breast implant augmentation can help or improve or change, and there are other things it really doesn't work. The most common reason why someone would like to have breast implant augmentation is they want larger breasts. This is possible through implants. They have asymmetrical breasts, which means one breast is larger and one breast is smaller, more than one and a half cup sizes, and the bra or a normal bra doesn't compensate for these changes. This is also um, an appropriate reason for implant augmentation. Third reason, they just want a little bit of an uplift. So a little bit of a fullness in the upper pole of the breast or the upper half of the breast, this is possible. If you want to have a cleavage, which is obvious, naked, as well as in the bra, then you need to lower your expectations or reconsider the options of implants because breast implants will not achieve a high cleavage naked. It will achieve a cleavage look more easily in a bra, but it's not something that you can achieve naked. It doesn't matter how big or small the implants are, you may be able to get fullness in the upper part of the breast, but you're not going to get that full, heavy, two oranges appearance naked. So that's something that you have to decide. So we've talked about unequal breasts, which can be helped with breast augmentation, but we're only talking about volume. If you have unequal nipples, which are more than a couple of centimetres, breast augmentation won't be able to adjust for this. You will need to have surgery specifically around the nipple to help adjust the nipples. If you have very droopy or saggy breasts and just want a small uplift, breast implant augmentation won't give you a great result on its own. You would need to have further surgery to give you a lift of the breast. This can be in the form of a mastopexy, uh, leaving you with scars potentially around the nipple, going all the way to an anchor shape to underneath the breast. So that's something that you have to consider and your surgeon will help you decide whether a mastopexy is needed on top of an implant. Your surgeon may decide the best option will be either to do it at the same time and some surgeons will decide to do these two parts of the procedure separately. So you have your breast augmentation first and then come back at a later date for your breast uh, lift surgery, leaving you with further scars around the nipple. The decision needs to be made whether the implants are placed above or below the muscle. Now this is quite a difficult decision to make and your surgeon will help you make that decision or will make that decision for you. There are many reasons why a person will have their implants above or below the muscle and it, you, you shouldn't really compare yourself to your best friend that's had it. But generally speaking, one of the commonest reasons would be your general body habitus. If you are a very, very slim person, it's likely that the implants will need to be placed underneath the muscle. This is so there is extra protection or extra padding over the implant um, so it's not visible. If you have good layer of padding um, or tissue on your chest, we would place the implant above the muscle. There are many risks and benefits um, associated with both different planes, but I'll go through that at a later date. We'll talk about sizing in the next sessions, but it's important to be aware, the bigger the difference in your expected cup size compared to your current cup size, the more difficult is it, it is to achieve a safe long-term result. So if you're, for example, if you're completely flat-chested you're, and you're a double A or less and you want to be an E, it'll be very difficult to achieve this safely in terms of getting you long-term results. If you are something like a B or a C, it's more difficult, it's easier to achieve the um, higher cup sizes and it's probably a little bit safer as well, but we'll go over that in, in, in the next 
sessions. I hope that's allowing you to think a little bit more about breast augmentation um, and I'll meet you in the next session.